children, my children. Love them, leave them, and you shall live. I have great things in store for you. But give me the glory. When the Lord said that he had great things in store for us, we just couldn't quite comprehend at that time what our Lord meant. But as I look back at FGA today, I understand the many wonderful and miraculous things that have happened in FGA up to the present. For the years that have gone by, to see the hand of God moving amongst us and with humility and deep gratitude, we thank the Lord for His good hand upon us in the increase of uh, believers in FGA. When the church started, we didn't know how to get the speakers to speak and God provided. The first days itself was so quite a number of people. The next week, even more came. And the following week, more and more started coming and we had to put the chairs outside in the garden, you know, so that they could hear. There was a revival then. The Holy Spirit just swept, you know. And many people were saved, were baptized in the Spirit. That was the beginning of, of FGA. When the place was getting too small, we had to move. But I do want to say something about missions. Missions is the heartbeat of God. In reaching the lost, both at home and in faraway places, only by the Holy Spirit was this made possible. None of us were anxious at all. Uh, we just believed in the Lord and we were not afraid. And we know that the Lord is so big and uh, nothing is impossible. And we just move forward without any worry whatsoever. came along to our meeting and said that FGA will be a big church. As you enter the entrance of our church into the main sanctuary, the speaker will be the size of a thumb. We will attract many, many people to God, just like a big tree where birds will fly to the tree and rest there and find security there. When the church said, okay, let's start the second service. And I literally saw how the second service grew and filled up the entire sanctuary. Yeah. Where are these people coming from? It's as if there was some attraction that people just seemed to be just drawn, you know, to the second service. When we were planning to build the Lisma FGA, the people were saying, hey, uh, isn't this enough? You know, this is already, you know, enough. We don't need another building. But look, we bought this building and this building is full. Yeah, so it just grew. And we really saw a revival of God moving among the youth. There was a love for reaching out. Just think of many who are dying without Christ, you know. It breaks your heart. It makes me very happy to see souls coming to know the Lord now. MG is a church completely dependent on the Holy Spirit. We really feel that the Lord is doing a very wonderful thing. Many a time, I, I've just cried my heart out just because of the presence of God. Not because what the preacher said or anything, it's just the presence of God and how people are drawn to the presence of God. God is faithful and He works miracles. When we obeyed the Lord, the Lord did so much for us. The sick got healed, but we've learned to trust Him even more. Allow the Holy Spirit to use them to reach out to others. Bring in the harvest. Bringing lives to Jesus Christ. 
as long as we live, we want to make disciples for Christ. God's unfailing love to us and giving us uh, opportunities to witness for Him. Isaiah 54 verse 2 and fast the place of thy tent, let them stretch the curtains of thy habitation, span out, lengthen the cords, and strengthen thy stakes. And then this whole Antioch vision that God spoke upon the church. And so from missionary supporting church, we became a missionary standing church. I would love to see more of that in, in where I am in the satellite churches. There is such a vibrancy, there is a love for God, there is an excitement, there is a, a desire to serve Him, there is a desire to be with the people of God. Here we talk about a team ministry. So you're not doing everything all by yourself. You have always a team around you. And so you're always with people. You're working together. Yeah, yeah, we have differences and all, but still we, we are able to work together. I think that's one of the uh, greatest joys. Yeah. We are all different, one from the other. The body of Christ, you and me, member of the body of Christ, Jesus as the head who directs our very actions. And we living in the full consciousness that He is our head and He wants us to give of ourselves unto the building of this church. And so we can serve the Lord.